Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, please feel free to write to me at walkwithtak.gmail.com if you have any question regarding to this video or any other video that I've posted in the past. Uh, if you have any video that you would like me to make, uh, please let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Now, as you become a more efficient and a more proficient in using the fast cooking system, which stands for flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking, you will be able to incorporate new ingredients into your dishes. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to achieve that. In here, I'm going to introduce you a new kind of a mushroom, which is known as tremel mushroom. Uh, it is a mushroom that has a very tender texture, and it also has great flavor. Now, the mushroom comes in a dry form. Now, like almost any dry mushroom that you're going to use, all you have to do is to hydrate it. However, one thing to keep in mind is that different mushroom has different hydrating speed. Some mushroom hydrates very quickly, such as this tremel mushroom. As you can see, that it within a matter of seconds. It absorbs all the fluid that you want. Now you don't want to soak this for too long, because then it will become too soggy. Now all you have to do is to cut it up into pieces so that you can use it in stir frying. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now you can also introduce other type of food ingredients into your stir frying. In this case, I'm going to show you how to use something called soy tofu puff. Now if you like. Tofu, you will enjoy this,、uh, particularly for fried tofu. Now, this soy tofu pup is very easy、uh, to cook, and uh, in fact, uh, you will find it is already cooked. But there's one important step you need to keep in mind: is that you need to again, like the mushroom, you need to hydrate it. You need to add fluid in it、uh, so that it will become soft. Now,、uh, to hydrate this mushroom, I'm also going to flavor it at the same time, and I'm going to flavor it with my wok with ta basic seasoning mix, and then I'm going to add some boiling water, which is very important because this will soften the texture of the fried tofu, and at the same time,、uh, it will allow the fluid to be absorbed into the matrix-like structure of this tofu, and when you add the Walk with that basic seasoning mix. It will greatly enhance the flavor. Now that's about it, and the rest of them is that you just using the same basic template which I have shown you earlier, which is the basic template for a stir frying vegetables. Now this template is very simple, and you can apply it to many different type of vegetables. So in here, the first thing I do is that、uh, I stir fry the ingredients that I like to cook longer, and in this case, it's the Brussels sprout, and then I、uh, add some the,、uh, fermented black soybean, which is also known as tofu. And you can take a look at this video for more detailed. Now this is then followed by the addition of some broccoli. Now I add the broccoli a little bit later than the Brussels sprout because the broccoli only need to cook a little bit less as in comparison to the Brussels sprout to achieve the texture I want. Now this advanced prepping is really important as you can see here. I have some carrot already in my advanced prepping. I also have some purple cabbage. Now you notice that I only add a small amount to that. Uh, because what I am doing now is that the Brussels sprout and the broccoli is my primary ingredient, whereas the carrot and the red cabbage is my secondary ingredient. Now, when you have advanced prepping, you can、uh, adjust the, the different kinds of、uh, ingredient in terms of amount that you want to put in, and this is what the beauty of advanced prepping.、Uh, you don't have to use all the ingredients that you have. Because you can always use them in a different meal. Next, I add some the shiitake mushroom. The shiitake mushroom also come with dried. I have hydrated it, and now I add that tremel mushroom. Again, you notice that I do not use all of it, and I'm going to use some of it here, and I use、uh, the remaining in a different dish. Now, this again go back to the principle of advanced, advanced prepping uh, by uh, using them in a way as how you need them. Uh, you don't have to worry about whatever that you left behind because you know you can always find 
uh, other dishes that you can use them in and this gives you a lot of flexibility. Now uh, the next is I add the soy tofu puff. Now the soy tofu puff I add to it which already contains some fluid so it will add fluid to um, the dish. Again the last one I'm going to add is some shrimp. Now the shrimp I want to cook it just about right because I like my shrimp to cook in such a way that it has the exact texture I want. Now this shrimp come with shelled. Uh, I advise you always buy shrimp that come with shell uh, because they freeze much better and they are less likely to uh, be subject to freezer burn, particularly if you store them in the freezer for some time. Okay, now the shrimp is added later. It's part of that sequential stir frying strategy uh, because I want to cook the shrimp um, just exactly right. So by adding it to the end, I'm able to watch it very carefully because the other ingredients are not as important to the texture as compared to the shrimp, which I'm very particular about. I do not want to overcook the shrimp. I'm going to season the dish with just a touch of oyster sauce, probably about one tablespoon. I put them in a squeeze bottle so I can dispense them precisely. Um, this is followed by uh, some addition of a uh, uh, black bean chili sauce and uh, it will give the dish a mild uh, spicy flavor. Now I do not like spicy food uh, like I used to. My stomach no longer able to handle them as well but I do like them uh, to provide a nice flavor. Um, so uh, this dish is basically seasoned very lightly. Uh, the main reason is because the uh, vegetables already provide wonderful flavor and the soy tofu pulp as well as the shrimp will provide very interesting texture. Now in many ways this is a complex dish, have many ingredients and this is what makes this dish great and I think you will really enjoy it. And then after I did a taste test, um, I decided I'm going to make some uh, final adjustment. Now flavor chasing is really important. You should always taste your dish as you cook because this is the best way uh, for you to achieve the flavor that you want and you can always make adjustments accordingly. I decided I want to make the dish a little bit sweeter so I add some uh, hoisin sauce. Now hoisin sauce is a sauce that will allow you to uh, increase the sweetness of the dish and in, in many ways it will provide a nice contrast between the oyster sauce as well as the uh, black bean chili sauce. Okay, the dish is done. As you can see, the total cook time of this dish is only about uh, 8 minutes. The reason is because um, everything cooked very quickly. Now you notice that you don't need a recipe to cook this dish. All you are doing is that using this basic template. And this template, once you understand the different step and its function, you can make adjustment. And each time when you cook, you become much more comfortable with the template and you know what to expect and you know the flavor of different ingredients that go into it. Uh, you can adjust the flavor and the texture exactly the way how you like it. And this is clearly is the advantage of stir frying over any other type of cooking techniques. The flexibility as well as the convenience uh, to make substitutions according what you have available to you and what you feel like on that particular day. So now the dish is almost uh, completely done. Then as you can see is that the last step is that I'm going to uh, separate the shrimp. Actually I'm going to put the shrimp on top of the dish. Now like we all know that uh, eating also involves the eyes as well. If a dish looks good it probably tastes good to you. So uh, when you use advanced prepping uh, with different ingredients that you have, you can see here, not only you can adjust the flavor of the dish using different type of uh, ingredients available to you, but you can also selectively to choose the color of the food ingredients, particularly when it comes to vegetables. Uh, this will allow you uh, to create a colorful dish as shown in this particular case. So you can see that by using a very basic approach, a simple template, and by using the fast cooking system, 
uh, which is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking, which is applied in every aspect in this dish. It allows you to create a complex dish with minimum amount of time using fresh ingredients cooked from scratch. Okay, I post a video each day, and my goal is to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine. But the reason is very simple is because, in order to avoid eating fast and ultra processed food, it is important for you to have a system. If you have a system, you can cook with spontaneity and intuitions. So keep on cooking, and I will see you tomorrow.